What are some problems uh, people have with appraisals in 2021 in Chatham and Wake County? So, so we have escalating prices. And uh, I was very fortunate we had um, uh, an appraiser speak at uh, Top Producers Council last week. And, um, you know, one of the things I loved about uh, hearing from this appraiser, he was very matter of fact, and he said, look, realtors look forward, appraisers look back. So an appraiser is, is looking at, you know, what are my, what are my concrete justified verified sales? Like this is what happened, like two months ago, a house very similar to the one Eric's buying, same neighborhood, same square footage, same age, sold for this. But that was two months ago and it is such an escalating market. I just did a CMA for a client um, just a few months ago and I was at 375 and I did another one for him. Two homes in the neighborhood. We're at 450 right now. What's a CMA? A CMA is a comparative market analysis. Okay. So, and uh, so I mean, his home has gone up seventy-five thousand dollars in less four or five months' time, and he's he's in the Magic Kingdom. He's in the inside of the Belt Line in Raleigh, mile and a half from a Target. I mean, you can't get better. But. Um, um, you know, a, a lot of people are worried about stuff not appraising, and these prices are ridiculous. <clears throat> I think I think we need to establish a few things. It's like who comes up with the prices, and everyone thinks, oh, it's the damn realtors. They're the ones who've made these prices go so high. No, we have no control over what the prices are. And then people are like, oh, it's these damn sellers. No, the sellers have no control. But it's the buyers, the right. buyers, the buyers, and the demand. That is what dictates prices. Yep. And there is huge, huge demand right now. And the demand is incredibly high. Some of that demand is uh, California money. And they have equity in their homes now. They've had good appreciation. And they've done well with um, stocks and tech stocks that have appreciated in value. So they, they do have a lot of wealth. But one of the fascinating things, again, that this appraiser said was um, uh, three years ago, what do you think the percentage of cash buyers were? Do you have a guess? Three years ago, it was 15%. And so now we have all this California money coming in. I was like, wow, what's the percentage of cash buyers now? And I thought it must be somewhere around 30 or 35%, just because it seems like we've had so much more, so much more uh, cash buyers around. It's the same, it's the same right now. 2020, 2021, it's still 15%. It really hasn't changed. Wow. So um, uh, now what has changed is if something doesn't appraise for the value that it's under contract for, the buyer does need to make up the deficiency with cash. So if you're buying a 425 house and it appraises for 400, a bank's only gonna lend money on the 400. You have to come up with a 25,000 cash difference. Um, we have uh, sight unseen offers, mm -hmm. um, you know, because it's such a crazy market, people are throwing money at it. Due diligence fees are crazy, crazy right now. It was just, it was just a few months ago or last year, a thousand dollars, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars was the normal due diligence money. I have multiple offers in the office right now that are ten and fifteen thousand dollars due diligence money. So that is, that is a buyer that is committed to buying the property. If they give you ten thousand dollars just to put the property under contract the likelihood of them walking away it's not zero but it is a lot less than someone who's only got five or fifteen hundred in it so we're seeing huge amounts of due diligence and um it is not uncommon right now for properties right now currently in this market five ten and fifteen percent above asking price we're seeing it right now so um uh Again, one of the things that this appraiser said was, we need to be careful and not scare our buyers. I think there's a lot of um, negative talk out there where you know it's a feeding frenzy, it's crazy. <sighs> it is a little crazy, and it is a little bit of a feeding frenzy, but um, a good agent will have a buyer that's prepared, and um, we hate to hear those stories where you know one buyer missed out on a house three, four, or five times, but it's because they made the same mistake three, four, or five times. I mean, you have to come in strong, you have to come in ready, and you have to come in knowing that you're competing with other people. So uh, that's real, real, real important. But um, the other thing that we're, we have going on with appraisals is 
people think there's a backlog or a back jam or whatever, all the good appraisers that I've used have been able to to turn stuff around in a week or 10 days. So that hasn't been a huge issue. So, you know, there's the data there. <clears throat> the other thing that the appraiser said at this meeting, which I thought was wonderful, he said, we promise you we are not looking to find out a way to make this deal not happen. We're actually looking for a way to make the deal happen. They're not blind. They, they're actually given the offer to purchase. So they see we have a willing and able buyer. So, you know, the property was 385. Here's an offer of 400. You offered 400. That appraiser's job now is to justify the 400. And they really are looking to, to justify that. So it's important to have a good relationship with the appraisers. And I think we have a lot of fun stuff going on right now.